percent into every punch, showing that he can endure this other fight at a heavy pace. front foot a fighter in the purest sense. The foundation of his offense lies on pressure. He fights with the high guard and likes to work his way into the pocket and empty those clips. For a pressure fighter, he can show good patience. He doesn't just throw punches hoping it lanes, but instead waits or creates those small openings to launch his offense. Virgil often invests into the body early because he doesn't just want to stop you. He wants to break you. In the last five fights, Virgil has stopped his opponents after the mid rounds. Although he doesn't seem to possess that one punch type of power, he has shown that his punches have the ability to accumulate and break his opponents. Me personally, I find Virgil's fights very entertaining as he has a very frame friendly style. There are some holes in this game that I will point out. As he campaigns in one of the deepest divisions, he will need to correct these habits if he wishes to compete at the elite level of the welterweight division. Good counter left. Times that. Being a pressure fighter, the opponent is expecting the onslaught. Virgil disguises some engagement rhythms by exploding and off his back foot. The issue occurs when Virgil gets over anxious and isn't responsible with his range. When this happens, Virgil often overreaches or steps in too close.
Falcons style because he's always in a blender, mixing it up. The guard is especially effective against looping and straight shots. Is a blind spot against the high guard from beneath. As the guard catches the looping shots and closing the guard, defends against the straight punches. The opening is exposed underneath. Ortiz would need good head movement to defend against the uppercut. <laughs>